Hi, I'm John Massman with Isthmus Sailboards. Today I'm going to talk to you about rigging the brand new 2016 Gastra Matrix HD sail. This is a, a complete package that we sell and we're going to show you all of the, uh, the rigging of exactly what you get in our rig packages. Let's get started. You want to pull your sail out of the sail bag. Remove your mask from your mask bag. And you can move the other accessories out of the way. Release the sail from kind of the sail toggle here. Foot of the sail towards the wind. And then roll the sail out downwind. Depending on the sail size uh, that you are rigging, in most cases you'll need to adjust the top haul strap to its shortest length. It's set at a longer length right at the moment. This is a 6.5 sail rigging with a 430 mast, so we'll want everything as compact as possible. So before you start rigging, set this for the first time. The key to adjusting this top haul strap is to remove the webbing out of the channel in the top. Then you can easily slide the pin towards the opening of the top of the sail, refit it into the groove or channel. Then cinch the loose end down through till it's snug. Next, you want to fit the uh, loose end through the buckle, cinch it down tight so it's nice balance length and the pin just starts to protrude down into the opening. Next, you want to uh, remove your mast from the mast bag. Uh, the top half of uh, the GT mast uh, will slide out of the bottom half of the mast. You take the top half of the mast, and we're going to insert it into the mast sleeve, dip first, past the boom opening. Take the bottom half of the mast at this point, secure the sections together, twisting, make sure that there's no gap, then continue to slide up the mast sleeve. Secure the pin in the tip of the mast. Oh, it's nice and firm. And continue to pull mast sleeve down the mast. Next, we'll secure the mast extension in the bottom of the mast. The luff length and dimensions that you will need are noted at the foot of the sail. Luff length in this case is 453 centimeters. We have a 430 centimeter mast. 
meaning we need to add at least 23 centimeters to our extension length. Setting your extension collar, twist open, turn sideways, and in this case we'll set it to the number 24 setting. Next, insert extension in the bottom of the mast. Take your downhaul, and then we will feed it through the three pulley hook or three pulley fitting on the tack. Take the loose end, feed the rope through the bottom of the pulley closest to the mast. Loose end goes through the top pulley closest to the mast extension. Turn the rope. Now you're going to go to the outermost pulley on the sail through the top, so it's going opposite direction. You can see the gap here. Wraps around the outside of the extension pulley to the interior. Start to pull down hole tension. Then through the middle pulley from the bottom side of the sail, exiting out the top, make the turn and it comes back into the opening to the cleat. One hole on the top of the extension. Pull it through it locks in place. For completing the downhaul, you can choose to use your hands and leg strength, or to save your hands and make it a little easier, you may choose to get a rigging tool. This is a single tug cleat um, that easily grabs a hold of the rope and gives a good uh, pressure release point for downhauling the sail. This is the Maui hookup that uh, gives you a large handle. It's bright yellow so you don't lose it in the grass. You simply wrap the rope around the hooks and then through and pull. Or the easiest of them all, the Chinook rig winch plugs in the hole. You take the loose end of the rope, you feed it through the pulley or through the, uh, the end, and you simply start turning the handle to adjust downhaul tension. This will give you no strain for downhauling, makes it very easy. I'm going to choose to use my favorite, the Maui hookup. Wraps through. And now the object will be to downhaul the, the pulley um, down to of the sail to meet the pulleys of the extension. You can watch the sail as I downhaul uh, to see that the battens will pull away from the leading edge of the mast. What we want to avoid are the batten tips protruding forward of the leading edge of the mast. Here you can see with minimal downhaul how much pressure there is on those batten tips. We'll want those batten tips to come back along the side of the mast and not protrude forward of the leading edge. So side of the mast or further aft as you go up the sail, you can kind of see that happening already just in the design of the, the sail. Watch what happens as I downhaul. Batten tips coming away from the 
leading edge of the mast. The gap is near closed, allowing us a little room to, uh, to make final adjustments for rigging the sail. But all the batten tips are behind the leading edge of the mast. Give it a little more downhaul. Next, I'm going to attach the boom to the sail. Once again, the boom uh, has a uh, the boom markings. Boom requirement is 188 centimeters for the 6.5 sail. This boom uh, that comes in the package for this size is the RRD. M um, series boom and a 160 length goes out to 220 so we are going to adjust it as close as we can to the proper length double pin push the clips out 130 we'll set it at uh, 130 for now just for margin of error The boom comes with a shim that in this case uh, is for RRD uh, or for the RDM mast rather. We have a standard diameter mast, so you just simply pop this RDM shim out of the front end. Next, you want your writing to face downward so you can read it if you were standing next to it. Slide the front end to the opening. There's a number system on the mast, just kind of for your reference. We remove the front end, the rope off of the, uh, the rear gate, open the hinge. Feed the hinge end through the mast sleeve. Press the front end up against the mast. You'll feel a snap. Attach the rope to the rear flange on the rear hinge, or rear gate we call it. And then you can close the handle. Adjusting the handle, there is a small cleat on one side. Now you can pull on it and, um, and adjust it to the, the, mar the adjustment area. Um, tension it up so the handle uh, closes um, over halfway before pressure, and then you close the remaining, and you'll hear a little snap that should be snug enough to secure the boom head to the mast. So the rear end, this is called a loop and go system. Here's our loop. The rope is attached at two points. We're going to pass the loose end through the grommet and then attach it over this post, kind of a channel on it. And then as you pull the rear end tight and pass it through the cleat, it secures quick and easily. In this case, I am going to adjust the boom length longer than recommended as it's common that these markings can be off by a few centimeters. That'll give us some tension or firmness in the clue of the sail. The first time you uh, rig the, a new gaster sail, uh, you will need to make adjustments to the batten pockets. Uh, they include a tool in the top of the sail bag, this little T-handled Allen wrench. So remove that from the sail bag and then proceed to the tensioners at the leech of the sail, at the back end of the sail. There's an Allen, recessed Allen screw. You're going to simply fit the T-handle in and twist it clockwise to tension the sail. As I tension, I will be removing 
vertical wrinkles from the sailcloth. So the more I twist, the more support to the batten pocket and the less vertical wrinkles you will see in the sail. When the wrinkles are gone, you proceed to the next batten pocket. Do this all the way up the sail to the best of your ability to remove as many of those wrinkles as you can. Once you've done this, you shouldn't have to come back and redo this uh, for some time to come. Just a fine tuning the first time you rig the sail. So when we downhaul the sail uh, and made our settings, it's a pretty accurate as far as I had one setting higher that I set the mast extension to. We have a little bit of a gap here. Uh, should uh, this will determine uh, strength of the wind and how much fullness you want in the sail. Uh, the more downhaul you give a sail uh, with modern sails, the more twist will be in the head of the sail. So if you look towards the top of the sail, you'll see that the sail cloth goes pretty limp um, at the second batten. Uh, so above the second batten, it gets uh, very loose. And this is desired uh, shape for uh, these sails to allow that head batten to be loose and adjust to the wind. When I adjust the sail with less downhaul tension, you'll see that looseness disappear. Where the head starts to tension. As I do that, it's a little more taut. Now the rest of the sail has gotten loose between the battens, an indication that you just don't have enough downhaul tension. I'll retension this up. Head loose. Nice shape to the foot of the sail. This point, all of the battens are um, behind the, the leading edge of the mast. They kind of sit at the midway point of the mast diameter, especially right above the boom and then it sits behind the mast sleeve as you go up towards the top of the sail. Outhaul tension, we have a positive outhaul tension at this point. That will determine how full the stomach gets under load. So if it's lighter wind and you want more draft in your sail, more pockets billowing away from you, you give the sail less outhaul tension. As the wind gets stronger, however, that will make the sail less stable. You want more outhaul tension. So in this case, I've got it at uh, just a little positive outhaul tension for where the boom height is set. So as we adjust that boom height lower, the boom length might shorten. As I adjust that boom height higher, the boom length may, may be required to be longer to compensate for that difference in length and position. Final, we have the uphaul, which is not attached uh, first time rigging it. You can take this uphaul, The bottom of the, uh, the handle area is a little loop. You take the loose end of the rope, you loop it through the loop on the boom, pass the uphaul through, pull it snug, close your handle. And what's neat about the uh, Gaster sails, um, we would want to tie off our loose end of our, our rope against the mast extension. 
before I fully do this, I'm going to stand the sail up and make sure I feel comfortable with the, the settings. Let's do this real quickly, looping around the extension. Your uphaul loose end, there is a, a kind of a gap in the mast pad at the bottom. Simply feed that through, it's right underneath this handle. Wrap it around, and then we can close off the bottom before we go sailing. Stand the sail upright. Beautiful sail. Check on the draft. You can see all the sailcloth is supported effectively. I change sides. Pull on that sail to rotate to the other side. Looks great. Always tie off your loose ends before you go sailing. Set your boom height to a comfortable height for you. I recommend it should be at least shoulder height uh, when sailing. Take into consideration your mass space is going to raise it about four inches off the deck of your board. So adjust your boom height accordingly. There you go, the brand new 2016 Gastra Matrix HD sale rigging instructions.